quick note about atheist. <sighs> atheist. Hmm. Atheist is a person that confesses or admits that they don't believe in God. And when you do that, you know, it shuts a lot of doors. It really does. Um, and I'm just going to mention two things that happen that happen by default, really. When you admit you don't believe in God, you admit you don't have a soul, soulless person. And I'm gonna just take it one step further and say, uh, you're not capable of love. You know, you'll never understand it and you'll never be part of it. Because if uh, you don't believe in God, then you do not know what love is. You'll never discover it. And the other thing I said before, which was what? Um, oh, an atheist um, has no soul. By default, he doesn't have to say it. By default, he uh, confesses or professes that he has no soul. And um, when you just do the math on all of it, you can see that these people have no love. They don't know how that whole scenario works. And, uh, you know, I married one, I married an atheist, and I found out later this woman has no soul. She's not being drawn towards God and uh, has no faith. Times got hard in 2008, she hit the fucking road. Divorce, 14 years, I don't give a fuck, take my kids, I'm out of here. You know, that house sold for $1.4 million a couple of months, a month or so ago. I looked it up online, 735 Whispering Pines Drive, Scotts Valley, California. Look it up, $1.4 million. Look who the owners were, I mean, if you want to. But if you go back a couple, you'll see me, the guy that remodeled the goddamn place, put 150 k into it, did all the work with my own hands. Marble fireplace, fucking gorgeous kitchen. Two maple staircases. Yeah, it was pretty nice. I used all custom lighting. I spent five grand on one light fixture just for the kitchen. It was a custom bendable track light, 30 feet fucking long. Anyway, thankfully I'm a master electrician. I can put all that shit in cheap, free, you know. Did all almost all the trades. On the kitchen, I brought in some cabinet people, but I designed the whole motherfucker and ordered the cabinets. Cherry. Um, and I brought in a tile setter to do the floor and the backsplash because that was all custom tile work and I didn't want to fuck with it and it's a good thing I didn't because the floor was out of level and everything else and this guy really had to do his work to keep everything you know moving smoothly and we had a nice level floor when it got done in the kitchen um, <clears throat> and all fucking cherry you know and all GE profile you know, granite, fuck, I bought an extra slab of granite just so they didn't have to piecemeal anything. They came to a corner and they were like, we'll take these two big pieces and use them. I'm like, man, I'm going to buy a third piece for that fucking corner. There's going to be no seams in my kitchen. You know, I put in a fucking gigantic hood that captured everything coming out of the stove, which was gas on top, electric oven down below. I mean, I had to fucking repipe the gas. We re plumbed the whole house. I rewired the whole house. I added Cat5 and, uh, I don't know, phone. We fucking I added, you know, I rewired new, I think I put a new phone cable. I know I put in new receptacles. We went to all, you know, Decora. <clears throat> yeah, put in all new floors. I mean, I fucking remodeled the whole goddamn house. Upgraded the structural, too, as I went. You know? But anyway, um, I don't even know why I was talking about that. Mainly, I just want to talk about atheists, and they uh, have no capacity for love, so forget about that. They have no soul. And, uh, you know, they just cop out on everything to do with God. It's rough. No Bible, no teaching it to their children. I mean, raised two kids with this woman, and, you know, we didn't teach the Bible. I have my own beliefs anyway, and, you know, I'm, I'm not going to fucking drag my kids off the fucking church and stupid shit like that. You know, I've already been myself. Why would I fucking take anybody in there? You know, it's a fucking rigged event. 
Anyway, even if there's a fucking miracle, it's going to be rigged. You know, I went to Benny Hinn's church, sat in the back row, and he's in all kinds of crazy, stupid shit. And I finally just was going to call him out. So I started walking towards the stage, just in the middle of a fucking service. Just going to find out what, once and for all what the fuck's going on with this guy. And um, I got tackled in the fucking... I'm just a guy walking through the church, you know, down the... I was in the service, and then I walked down the aisle, got tackled by security, drug out into the fucking hallway, body slammed, then fucking drug out into the parking lot, and threw back into my fucking car. They called the cops. People came out. I mean, it was fucking nutty, and I didn't do a goddamn thing to fucking get beat up in a fucking church. And that's Benny fucking Hinn. Yeah, fuck that asshole, man. I'll call that motherfucker out every day of the fucking week on his fucking miracles, man. Anything to take a motherfucker's money, right? These people work hard for their fucking money. And, but, you know, if they're that fucking stupid, if they're that low on the IQ scale, then fuck them. You know, you want to give your fucking money away some moron from out of the country? Fucking, what, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to say? You know, grow an IQ. People don't want to grow IQ. They want to believe their own stupid shit. You know, they really don't. They don't want to fucking know the truth. They don't fuck. Who would? You know, when you start figuring that shit out, you don't want to fucking have any part of it, really. You know, I can see how people get fucking in and out. Um, anyway, you know, you know how Americans are. <laughs> Lazy, stupid, and spoiled. Fuck, man, we'll go to the grocery store, get some fucking frozen pizzas, and fucking take them home and cook them and... You know, watch TV while we're fucking around on the internet, you know, watching porn and everything else. Fucking wife sitting on the goddamn couch next to us, you know. <sighs> anyway, my wife used to sit there and fucking flirt with guys all goddamn night while I was watching movies on a $70,000 fucking sound system. She fucking hated it. She cursed it, you know. Her fucking everybody that came into the house loved it, but my mom, my fucking wife hated the fact that I spent that kind of money. Got it all back. Anyway, gotta go.